Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule of Waves 2 as Germany episode number 65. I cannot believe we're at 65 episodes. The longest series I've ever done for Rule of the Waves. I believe that maybe around 60, maybe even sh just shy of 60 was the longest previous to this. So, but uh, I think that kind of, you know, obviously just reflects the fact that the time period is so much longer. You're going the same as the original game times two. So if one of our previous series went 50 episodes, it's almost not a it's almost a surprise this doesn't go 100. Uh, but we're able to blow through the um, beginning part a little bit faster since I have played that so many times. We skip a lot of dialogue and all that. So anyway, oh here we are back. I haven't actually had to close the game. I had just just resting on my computer while I was able to do a few things, and here we are for the continuation. Um, I think things are going very well. I'm sure I harped on that a bit at the end of the last video. Is there anything like I've thought about in the meantime? Not really. Frankly, I think that basically our plan is sound. It may not have been the best one, but it's definitely one that's working for us at the moment. And furthermore, I don't see any reason why we would change things up now. Apparently, at some point, one of these two took a hit Yeah, the Rhine must have taken a, a hit that slowed down. Detaches because of heavy flooding. Okay. Well, the flooding is not too bad. As we can see, it's minuscule. But it did slow down her max speed to 22, which means she can pull off and become one of the blukers. <laughs> so a max speed of 22 is not going to be enough for her to continue at full pace. Which means, actually, the arena is going to continue solo. Now, that can be an advantage. I like to be able to operate my battleships individually. If it were it up to Tortuga, I would get rid of the division command altogether. Excuse me, let me move this a little bit. Uh, but that's because I'm uh, looking at a top-down view. I don't need... I can just control things like a real-time strategy game, which no admiral ever, at least at this far in time, at this uh, point in time, was capable of doing. This Mars class has certainly seen better days. Uh, yeah, we had a lot of good hits in the last one. Well, three on the Royal Oak. She's also seen better days. Has only one operational turret. It's a double turret. That's what she gets for stealing my 3223 design. Anyways, let's move forward. Wow, that's a lot of battle cruiser hits on uh, a lot of torpedo hits on the battle cruiser. And it is the indefatigable. Try saying that five times fast. I know I'm having a hard time. So it looks like we may end up taking out two of the three battle cruisers in this division. Aha! Here we go. Six torpedo bombers, British Bulldog, are on naval strike. So these are the ones that are probably trying to wean their way through our cap. Um, we did a torpedo bomb strike, and we don't know the results yet. Where I mean, this is happening over here, so maybe it's one of the... Hey, it'd be nice if we could get this bar floor, which, how, what's her evasion speed? 15 knots, heavy damage, that's good. Hopefully any attempts to flee with her cause her to increase her flooding, which hopefully causes her to reduce her speed. And what's more, besides that, I mean, a really good turn in terms of, obviously our torpedo bombers are doing very good work. Um, I'm seeing Royal Oak hits all over the place, which probably means disaster for her. She's down to 10 knots, probably not moving very much. She's getting easier and easier to target. Uh, one 16-inch and then three 17-inch hits, which, if she wasn't having problems before, she definitely would be now. Make that four 17-inch hits. And those are all the hits of consequence. Our torpedo bombers have taken a few hits from the dual-purpose guns. Wow, this is not a lot. No, that's medium. Medium and light are doing the destroying and damaging. So that makes sense considering they have 24 medium and 11 light, which also makes me think since we have dozens of medium and light in our, on our ships that we're probably going to be okay. I think we're going to be okay as far as aircraft come. When they come, and we know that they're probably going to be coming from these land bases, hopefully, I mean, in a weird way, hopefully they target the transports. So what if we fail the, the invasion? The invasion I didn't even authorize. Uh, who cares if we fail it if... The, you know, benefit is that we actually are able to um, uh, eliminate a lot of the German or British ships. 
So that could be a huge advantage for us. This little swath of <laughs> the blookers. All four of them, there they are. <laughs> Let's get them down to all 18. Ooh. Slocked Skiff. Slocked Skiff is actually having a hard time reaching even 18 at this point, but that's fine. We'll get her to do whatever maximum speed she can. Point these guys a little further north. Get you going north as well. Everyone's catching up. It looks like pretty co it looks pretty coherent. I don't know what this guy's doing, but he's on AI control, so I'm assuming he knows what he's doing. And we move forward. Oh no! Well, it, oh gosh. We didn't expect to come out of this completely unscathed, so I, this should not be a, a huge surprise. What ended up sinking her? The medium guns from the Prince of Wales. Now, I got to say, the fact that she's able to fire under such circumstances is pretty good. She is <laughs> like having a weird time in formation over there, but has not dis uh, discouraged her from firing accurately, unfortunately. Um, this battlecruiser took another hit. We probably don't even have to track her down. Four on these indefatigables. Especially because they are pretty light, if I remember. 34,000. I mean, 35,000 tons is not small, but at this point in the game, it's not... I mean, at this point in time, I should say. Let's treat this as a true alternate universe. At this point in time, it's uh, not that big. So, Boeing class, minor. I mean, this one is the one that's sinking. Uh, Royal Oak taking even further hits. I'm just waiting for her to be recognized as sinking. I'm sure she's on the way there already. 69, 69. Ribble, this is the important one actually. Oh, it's not, it's not even the same Ribble class. There's a Ribble right here that I would prefer to be eliminated. We can even swing our light cruisers a little bit further out that way. Um, probably take you down to 30, but shift you in, yeah, because Obviously anti, that's what I want. I don't want to go too far that way because of anti-aircraft concerns. So we do want anti-aircraft. Staying relatively close just to provide that, uh, help provide that protection. Uh, Ribble, Royal Oak 16, Royal Oak 16. Enemy Bisley dive bombers dived our I bombed our destroyers, and we don't have much providing. I mean, even our destroyers are providing 14 AA factor. That's not bad. And their one light AA did not hit anything. Well, not too surprising there. But I, I just see no bomb hits, so we got pretty lucky, I would say. Or maybe the um, dual purpose guns actually discouraged any help. There's some Supermarine Shark escorts. I really wish you could tell what the. You should obviously know, I mean, we'll check after this. We'll, it'd be really interesting to see what what we're up against there. What are the British, what do the British um, fighters look like? Okay, moving forward. Unsighted was hit by a torpedo at this point. Something up here, which could be the carriers, not sure. Another good turn though. Royal Oak is probably on her last legs. Hannibal even, ah, minor hit. Royal Oak, two miners on the Mars. Royal Oak, the Ribble, another Ribble hit, that's that's nice. And they again have no, scored no bomb hits. These transports even have four light and four medium AA guns. That's, I didn't know that. Very cool. Funny to think that our destroyers have less light and medium guns than these transports. Actually, that's not that, I, I, I could see that actually being the case. Especially because they already have their AA in terms of dual purpose guns. So, continue moving. Royal Oak, 12, and only one hit of significance. Another one on the Royal Oak. She is all but destroyed. If we can take out this Hannibal, is this the one that lost? Yeah, it is. This would be a great victory to claim, because this is a fantastic ship. Good anti-aircraft, very sturdy armor. 27 knots. I mean, she is, I think this is very close to my Sturmbringer class. OK, 
Okay, we're moving that. Let's uh, do a double check of these guys. Three, I'm not gonna do, worry about that. And one and one, okay. Nothing to really ready. That guy's coming to a stop now. Mars, Royal Oak, Royal Oak hit. That's a big one. I'm surprised she's not dead yet. And Mars taking another hit, that's good. So again, these are gonna be Blucher fodder. I'm gonna push north as quickly as possible um, with most of my ships. Hopefully, hopefully we have a chance to, um, I think we'll be able to sink this line class. She is going slower. <clears throat> and we are able to get these free shots on her since she has no trailing turret. Obviously the one disadvantage of the all forward guns firing configuration that when they're trying to retreat as they right now are, it's not like a very good situation for them. So we just wanted these guys to stay in formation enough that the AA would help them just in case. But now that these guys are peeling off, we will probably peel them off as well and get them to hound those retreating ships. If I wanted to be very specific right now, I probably should honestly start getting our guns to focus on other ships. I mean, these aren't going down yet, but they are probably at the point where we don't need to. Ah, okay. <laughs> they shot down my recon. Yeah, well, not too surprising. Initial 30, whole crowd of blookers down there. And then you're coming back this way, which is good. You are deploying aircraft, I guess. Okay, we have more aircraft approaching enemy ships. Not a good sign for them. A Mars hit. Oh, this was a different, no, it wasn't. I clicked on the wrong thing. Hannibal, no, it's light. Boyne is now dead. Mars and Royal Oak. Okay, well, it's the same old, same old. Just waiting for that one to be registered as dead. Lion does seem like she's moving pretty quick still. Um, three more 16-inch shells on the Mars. That's really good. We are able to fire a full broadside at this point. She's not probably able to do much at all. Not even just not return fire with her big guns, but even her lighter guns with the listing and all the damage we've done. Anyway, we're gonna to continue to have these drift off to the east because that is also the direction our carrier is. So we wanna provide some kind of protection. Looks like the Quicksilver here is probably picking up aircraft. Obviously one of the disadvantages of having float planes is that you do run into those issues. German, okay, 42, 42. 42 is this one, I believe. 22. 41. Guess we can do it this way. Forty-two, okay, so it is over here. Yeah, there they are. So hopefully our uh, destroyers are able to hold up their side of the bargain as far as anti-aircraft goes. Um, Royal Oak, Mars class, Queen, oh, not interesting though. Mars class, she's obviously going down, Queen. I'm actually surprised that accuracy is not that good. Oh, this queen is actually taking a lot of damage too. She, maybe she was the recipient of some of those torpedoes. One of the bar, flo or bar floor here, obviously a key target. I kind of want the Sturmbringers going east and the other ones going like the arena to head north to deal with the lion. <laughs> since we're able to pretty much have free reign against the lion since she isn't firing rear. Um, this is, okay, then we also see some more dive bombers coming in. We do have a nice cap overhead. I say nice cap overhead, there it is. One, oh, that's not what I expected. Nine, there it is, nine. Nine's a little bit more what I was looking for. Okay, let's move forward. Okay, so the Rhineland's now dive bombing. Is this this one? It is, the Hannibal, fantastic. We landed two bomb hits. I don't know how significant those were. We don't know exactly 
what kind of damage they did, but that's good. And, you know, any ship that's being bombed, I guess the fire control is not going to be quite as easy. <laughs> Those bombs are going to hit the very vulnerable superstructure, which is where the fire control stuff is all stationed. Still waiting for this guy to go down. Ah, she's officially going down. We can officially KIA her and the Mars. So, at this point, we want to stop firing at the Mars and the Royal Oak. However, we'd have to do that um, manually. And I know that, so what was it? The, I think it was the Arminius that was being approached here. Do these have dual purpose guns? Yes. Okay, this is actually quite good. So six inch, 26 inch is nowhere near as effective as 25 inch guns. But when we say that, it's still very effective. Plenty of, uh, obviously more range on those too. So in some sense, they should be better just so they can start firing earlier. Okay, I think we'll just continue to move here. Um, we're going to let people keep overkilling because I'm not going to micromanage all of that. I'm just going to have to let it happen, unfortunately. Orange White took a hit, but still intact. Uh, Queen took another hit. That's good. 16-inch shell. Light guns, light guns, light guns, light guns. Then we have more fighting. They're destroying our dive bombers. They took out one here. A mid-air collision, they damaged another one, and one of ours damaged one of the cap. Okay, that's it's nice that we can do something. Are these guys both going very slow? 10 knots, 10 knots. Okay, good. So this is the top one sinking. The bottom one, the trailer, is, I guess, luckily for us, slowing down with her, com with her companion so that we may have a chance of catching her. Very good. I don't see any reason to change up anything yet. Probably it's time for us to again evaluate whether our carriers have any more sh stuff that they can launch. Okay, we're hitting the Mars, not important. Royal Oak, also not important. Aha, so here they go, they're dive bombing. We did destroy one aircraft with our, nice, our four inch dual purpose guns, plenty of them too. Bomb hit, near miss, hull plating ruptured by bomb burst. Well, that's less than good. Now the arena is being targeted. 221 combined. Oh my goodness. No aircraft hit? <laughs> wow. 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 Okay. Wow. So maybe heavy anti aircraft is maybe not supposed to be what kills, it's just supposed to disrupt. <laughs> I, th I mean, by the way, in my head, that kind of makes sense, but I still think that when you have 221, you're going to do some damage. I mean, that flak bursting is going to... I guess it doesn't tell us here how much... I mean, look at all the freaking stuff we have. Contributing AA to that, which is why I wanted us in this big ball. Oh, a little surprising there. I guess dual purpose guns are not supposed to kill anything. So I'll note that. And then if ever dual purpose guns from the enemy kill something, I'm going to scream bloody murder. Okay, so no care, no aircraft are hit from there. I mean, it's one gun. <laughs> and looks like the torpedo bombers got through. Why are they torpedo bombing a destroyer? I don't know. These are the important questions, but we'll have to wait on the answers for now. Ah, Sturmbringer's hit by a torpedo. So obviously it's not a very good angle for them to fire torpedoes. Where could this have come from? The lion? I mean, it couldn't be. First of all, she doesn't report any torpedoes, but second of all, this is a lot of torpedoes. I, I thought they were close on the east side, but... Okay, so this is our range. I think they only have one destroyer over here anyway. Amazon? I, I frankly don't know. I frankly don't know. Is this... Their torpedo bombers? Did they... Yeah, I mean, this could be their torpedo bombers, right? Didn't they send torpedo bombers against us? 
Yeah, that's that's right. Last turn. Like I'm just forgetting, right? Last turn it was this 221. Um yeah, these torpedo bombers, well they went after the arena. So I guess they didn't go after the Stormbringer or not sure what's going on. I think this is actually destroyer torpedoes. Anyways, how are you doing after taking one torpedo? <laughs> You're targeting it off. You took a little bit of flooding damage, but you're able to continue, which is good. I don't, I really don't know where those torpedoes would have come from. Let's take a look at the other stuff that's going on. Stirbringer took a heavy hit. Not a good turn for us, it looks like. Yeah, not a good turn. 12 bomb hits? Oh, transport 12 bomb hit. Got it. <laughs> Wow, I was not even sure what I was trying to, what would have happened if that was actually 12 bomb hits. I would have been very disappointed. Okay, let's check the carriers again. Oh, looks like we have some more stuff ready. 13 here, 7, 9. I think all of these need to, they're ready. Oh my gosh, they're actually ready. So we have dive bombers, torpedo bombers. We have dive bombers, torpedo bombers, and more torpedo bombers. I really wish we had readied some of these fighters. We will ready them immediately. But right now, in the middle of all this action, I think let's try to... I think that it's not gonna be a point, uh, there's not gonna be a point to go after the carriers yet. They're gonna kind of operate in isolation because our, our air groups cannot be given an, an order to actually bypass the main battle group. So I'm not even gonna bother. Basically, we know that they're gonna run I, they're going to uh, attack whatever they see. So I'm just going to give them an order to go ahead and attack whatever you're running into over here. So just something like this. And uh, we'll launch that. They'll be there in an hour, which is perfect. So that's 19 from the big Z and 29 from the Nord Rhine Vestphalen. Okay, let's do that. Let's launch that strike. And let's start to ready these for escort duty. That's, by the way, the closer carrier group, but we also have 13, which has nothing readied. Okay, so six, seven, and six. These can be readied. Well, it's mostly fighters, but okay, whoops. Not the dive bomber. Torpedo bombers. Two groups of fighters and one group of torpedo bombers. Not a lot there. I think this one must have take the, taken the brunt of the cap. We'll still ready that strike. Yeah. For now, we'll just ready that strike and see what happens. Okay, so what, uh, yeah, this was not a good turn. That's right, I already checked. Let's move forward then. Carrier group 21. And we have some, some more shenanigans going off to the north. Stormbringer is avoiding more torpedoes. I don't know, I have no idea. I think that these are actually airplanes. And I think that it makes sense they're avoiding torpedoes and not getting hit if the 221 is actually true. So I think, I'm guessing this is a carrier up here. We're seeing their main battle line and this is not it. So we're probably overkilling a carrier, which I'm, I'm taking one down is still good news to me. We weren't sure if we'd get any. Sparfloor is going slow. We'll be able to catch up to her. Prince of Wales took a 16, takes a 16 inch hit. That's good because she has been, uh, she destroyed one of our, our ships already. Lion class running, but hopefully we can get some more big shots on her. And then nothing else really of note. Of note. Uh, torpedo bombing a battleship. No heavy or medium guns available, so that should be unfortunate. Very... Oh, no. Well, that was always a possibility that they would choose the, the sinking target. <laughs> anyway, let's... I think I will get my... I will get Arena. I think I am going to get her to focus on the Lion class.
It doesn't list her. Oh, okay, there it is. Sorry, it's not here, it's over here. Let's get you to focus on the line class. I think I might even just manually designate. You're still in good shape as far as fire control goes, right? Yeah, I don't see any reason why you would have some difficulties there. So we'll just manually designate your target as the lion class. Okay, good. Um, okay, so chase her down, and then you guys, Sternbringers, can continue off to the, the northeast. Mars, took a torpedo. That's the dive bomber's going off the wrong target. By the way, there was some aircraft approaching our carriers, but I think our cap has not even been invol involved yet. At least I haven't seen our cap. Okay, they're dive bombing a battleship. Please hit. Yes, one hit. Fantastic. That's another bomb hit on the Hannibal. It's three so far. These are 1,400 pound bombs, so they're not easy to shake off. We could be doing very good damage. Um, the We're now torpedo bombing the Queen. This would be a nice hit, because she's... Well, actually, we're catching up to her. She's probably... She's probably going to be eaten up by our advancing force anyway, but it's still better to have it eaten up by the torpedoes than have a chance to return fire, possibly get off a flash fire, something like that, that we wouldn't want. Are you firing torpedoes? No. Okay, good. Probably should forbid torpedo launching, but we're not there yet. Okay, let's advance the another minute. Queen class is hit by two torpedoes. Very good. So that's probably going to end her escape attempt. We already know the bar floor is having a hard, hard time. No guns available. And this is, again, one of them I'd really like to put an end to. Oh, the Prince of Wales is actually turning towards... Maybe I should get my Sternbringers to focus fire on her. Okay, let's see what else happened. Ryan took a hit. Poor Ryan. Mars sinking. Sinking, 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 sinking. And two bomb hits. Damn it. On the wrong target. Oh well. Um, that's not... I would almost think the dive bombers wouldn't want to go after a ship like this that's smoking and very hard to hit, um, because especially because there's going to be huge shells approaching that target. <laughs> You'd think that they would want to go after ones more on the periphery that aren't being targeted as much. This Hannibal's, damn it, just getting away still. Okay, we'll push on, push on is the order. All right, what do we have here? Royal Oak getting blasted, Mars getting blasted. Those things don't matter. Hannibal taking hit. This is important. That's an important one. She already had a turret missing, so I guess we don't know what it did. Um, five dive bombers going after the Slock Skiff. Combined 13? Oh, that's not that much. She did take a bomb hit. Let's see how that what that did to her. She was able to shrug it off. I mean, it's a turret top. It's actually the... Probably the best place to take a bomb hit. <laughs> it's, well, on these, I don't know. It was probably only four inches, but better than three inches on the deck. Didn't hit our superstructure, which is actually, I mean, I think that is probably the best place for us to have taken a hit. And we're going after a battle cruiser. Hopefully the one that's not already sinking. These are torpedo bombers. Oh, that would be great if we could go after... Now, Sturbringer's radar is repaired. I didn't even know that it was offline, but that makes sense. These things are, radar is pretty fragile at this point. So probably we want these guys to go a little bit more north, and uh, we may have to per, like just pick our targets. And Prince of Wales right now is what I want to be targeted. It looks like they already are targeting her. Somebody is targeting her. So that's good. And we're going to eventually bypass these. Um, we're going to let the Blukers just give them what for to hopefully ease their transition underwater. Hopefully that'll prevent them from being a target in the future. And is that the same indefatigable? Is it a new one? Uh, lots to read in this one. 
Okay. Yes, they got it. They got the one that was not already sinking. That's amazing. Ugh, for once, for once they picked the right target. That does not happen very often, but let's make a mental note that they did pick the right target at least once. Groff and Eisen took a hit from the Prince of Wales guns. That's one of the ones I really want to focus on right now. But we are technically tar- we, I mean, we are supposedly targeting her. After a very long period of time without taking any hits, the lion finally receives another heavy shell. That's very good. Uh, Mars, Royal Oak, not important. Mars, Lion. Oh, if I've been I mean, I'll take anything just to, one, give them the modifier that they're under fire. And uh, two, obviously, if we do any more damage, we slow them down more. We prevent their ability to fire back. Uh, Ar Arminius, 84 factor, no heavy aircraft. Uh, Turbots herself does have 23 medium guns, 11 light guns. That's great. No aircraft hit, unfortunately. Bomb hit did hit her secondary batteries. Luckily, they're small enough they won't explode the whole ship. And the 9, yeah, no aircraft. So, unfortunately, our medium and light aircraft, um, anti-aircraft, didn't do anything in this case. It was only three dive bombers. I'm actually very surprised. Against three, you would think it'd be easier to focus fire and knock them out but i mean this is actually really surprising this took off the bomb okay combined aircraft heavy aircraft or anti-aircraft fire of 44 apparently this was enough to damage one of them and that makes sense to me i'm not even thinking that it, these aircraft should be destroyed but you take a hit from flak it forces you to turn back you know like holes in the wings whatever it prevents you from making an effective attack that's my perception of uh the heavy flak stuff and no bomb hits that one. No bomb hits. Oh, wait. This is the Hannibal. We didn't hit. Damn it. We didn't hit the Hannibal. They only fired four. They didn't even fire. Ah, they only fired four. Uh, they, they did fire. They fired 22. So about the same as my Schlack Skiff or the, the Blucher class. No bomb hits, unfortunately. But we've gotten three already, so that's good news. I'm very close to my mic, sorry if that's getting too loud. Uh, torpedo bomb a light cruiser, interesting. If it ends up hitting, I'm not completely opposed because the British have very few escort ships left and sinking them is actually really valuable. I mean, the, the, the downside unfortunately is that they will decline battles and if they do that while they're blockading us, we will never be able to stop the blockade, but Let's move forward. Okay, 42, this is the transports. They are going after their objective, so in some sense that makes sense. Unfortunately, I don't really care about those transports. <laughs> I'd much rather be getting the kill against uh, against these battleships and battle cruisers. I don't care if it means it costs us... Wait, Prince of Wales? It's not what I thought. I thought the Prince of Wales was... What? Oh, Hannibal. I got, I got Hannibal confused with Prince of Wales. Okay, fair enough. So the Prince of Wales is 16, three 16 inch guns, nine. Okay, yeah, that's a that's a pretty, this is a very potent design. I don't think we'll be able to finish her off. She was, she's probably gonna be one of the ones to get away. We would like to focus on her though. And good, I was gonna say the Koenig should be going after her and already is. Let's see what happened. Oh, Braunschweig took a f shot, fire started, unfortunate gonna guide you guys back in okay queen class six inch four inch not much okay nice prince of wales took a 16 inch shell lion two small mars lion two more five inch shells i think that the i mean i really do think that despite the fact that these are not extremely valuable i'm hoping that this could cause some disruption to the lion because we are approaching her i don't know if they are though <laughs> Okay, five dive bombers going against the Carl Donuts. Two ninety-two, one aircraft damaged. Probably they're just. I cannot believe they can still hit. This is in five dive bombers. Okay, um, I'm trying. To, let me just think about this for a second. I want to get really upset, but let's just use logic. I don't know how many sent I sent against this Hannibal. Not very, it did not face very high heavy anti-aircraft fire. I think 
but we at least hit. Now the deck, look at it, it did not do anything. We're not, we don't need to worry. This bomb hit. It's a thousand pound bombs apparently. Um, it, it's not that concerning. It's just weird that we didn't hit them because I mean we're just as unlikely to be doing a lot of damage to them, but it could be. And if we don't hit, you definitely are not going to do damage. Okay, one dive bomber against the slock skiff. No bomb hits. It's only one. And we didn't. We weren't able to. I mean, just one aircraft coming in. This would be suicide. Somebody would probably tag it. Um, this is the Rhineland going against the battle cruiser. Medium aircraft. Uh, medium anti aircraft is being pretty effective. Uh, and now this is. Oh, it's against these guys. They're both probably sinking already, so not a big deal. And Koenig limited flooding. The flooding is very minor anyway. Okay. So hopefully see this exchange finally happen. Very good. All right. Mars, Lion. Lion is good. And don't care about the Mars. Don't care about the Royal Oak. Hannibal. Haven't seen that name for a while. Prince of Wales. Nice. Another 16-inch shell landing against the Prince of Wales, destroying her super-firing turret. And since they're all triple turrets, that's actually a really good result. Groff and Ice and near miss. Ah, well. Oh, okay, these are the indefatigables on the east side. I was going to say, the two on the west, I think, are sinking already. And look at that one way out up there. Lost one of its turrets. Rear turrets, luckily for us, so it's actually more difficult for it to engage. Carrie's getting pretty close to the action. Luckily, she has a minor escort. But hey, as I was already mentioning, we're kind of dancing some of our air, our uh, battleships that way. And, you know, because I see that situation, we're going to react a little more strongly, get them to pivot off to the east a little bit more. Because this Hannibal is apparently heavy damage. I don't know if I believe that, but, you know, some support will head east. And right now it's in the... F in the form of the the blukers which probably aren't going to be able to do much else than just contribute by making sure these ships aren't targeted by anyone else okay let's see two amazon destroyer hits that's nice 1500 tons uh royal oak not important bar floor is an important one to keep under fire and one other 16-inch shell landing on the Prince of Wales. That's very good. Now, this Queens, is she just rolling over? Is she giving up the ghost? She's actually heading at us. We might have hit her with a... I'm not really sure why she's doing that. I was going to say, maybe we hit her with a... We hit her rudder or something. Um, Fire Dracos, what's your maximum? Good, good. So you're in... This is one division I have good control over. This one, I believe the Rhine... What's your squad max? Oh, heavens. We'll, we'll keep you at 24 then. What's your max speed? 25, yeah. Wait, yeah, so we'll keep you guys at 24, just one below. And you're heading towards the lion. We'll keep you just nose on with her, which will reduce your total turret fire, but I think it's okay. And these guys will be going down soon. Okay, good. Actually, we can see if they're already sinking or not. No, and probably yes. No, in fact not. Any uh, evasion they try to undertake to get out of the battle area is just going to increase the flooding, though. So I think we have a couple wins over there. Okay, so they're dive bombing the... Yeah, aircraft 50. Maybe we, maybe we just got really unlucky before, or maybe we're getting lucky now. Ah, they actually hit our carrier. Now, we were able to destroy one aircraft and damage another one. This is only five dive bombers. I'm actually really surprised that they are able to be so effective with such few... I mean, in my opinion, and this is kind of the midway form of things... Um, you kind of rely on numbers, the law of, of large numbers. <laughs> Just because you're not going to get a lot of hits, you're going to, you need, a, you're, a lot of them are going to be shot down, etc., etc. So it's a little surprising to me that these small groups of five are getting through. And I wonder if that's actually just a, is that a mistake? 
should that be happening? Especially with us having a cap up. I mean, one thing you can say is it'd be a lot easier to sneak through with less airplanes. Um, a lot harder to detect. Good lighting took two 16 inch hits. Arena's really doing her job here. Forcing, disabling the forward most turret, which is probably the most valuable turret that they have. And, you know, just inflicting further damage as well. Uh, two on the Royal Oak, that's not important. Lion, five inch hit. And Prince of Wales, five inch hit. Okay, not those were less important, but the, some good ones are happening. So you are supporting Graf von Eisen, which is over here. Okay, Queen class just took... The, the turf flash fires are really happening this time. That's the second one of the British ships to go down. Uh, and it was the Von Tufel Schiff. Ah, Sevi. And she has been extremely quiet the whole battle. So I'm happy to see that. I'm also really happy. I'm just so happy that it was a flash fire that killed her because... It's one less ship that the aircraft and even my own battleships are going to focus on. Okay, so dive bombers are going after a transport. Uh, a near miss, which hull plating up, up is ruptured by bomb burst. High speeds increase flooding on the Koenig. Well, I'm a little surprised. I thought that they were able to... Oh, she's really going fast. We will slow her down to, let's say, 20. She's already in line with the Hannibal. This other Hannibal, by the way, has taken those bomb hits, three of them. Unfortunately, deck armor of five and a half. Now, queen class. Is there any other queen class? I already... Let's just reference the almanac. Wrong almanac. Does it still show the queen class? So she had... No, we don't see all the guns there. If I was to speculate, 34,000, 11 and a half inch belt, she probably only had 13 inches of armor, so not really just, uh, British are not doing a good job of armoring their ships, which are also independently vulnerable to turret flash fires to begin with. But I cannot look at her, not until the end of the battle. Uh, the Donuts is surviving, Indefatig indefatigable, that's only 14 inch guns. So they are still firing. They're not going down yet. Mars Lion. Okay, another minute. These are progressing rather slow, I know, but there's a lot to read. Okay, bar floor. This ah, damn, it's only a six-inch gun. Mars, not important. Okay, one ah, 17-inch gun, but it's okay. Okay, Sternbringer, do not fire. A single shell against the Mars. So I will redesignate your target. Um, we could aim for the really far off Hannibal. I don't think anybody's targeting her. So the red lines means people from my division, I think, are already targeting. Yeah. The blue or yellow, I can't remember which is incoming versus which is secondaries. Anyways, I don't see any lines going to the Hannibal, and I actually don't see any lines going to this Hannibal, so forget that one. Let's take the closer one. So, uh, Royal Oak. Blucher, that's fine. Ah, good arena. Another hit on the lion. Continue to disrupt her movement. Another, oh, good, very good. Two 16 inch shells on the lion. We are taking some pretty. Wait, this is only medium gunfire, so you can see that even medium gunfire can be effective. Belt extended penetrated. It's not going to do a lot of damage, but it all adds up. Uh, torpedo bomber is going after. Ooh, yes, yes. So it's four of them. One damage and one... Damn, freaking heck, man. We just They got through. Let me through, too. They, had, they sent five. I don't know why we only have four there. Seems like an oversight. Or it got, already got destroyed by cap. Or I don't actually know. I don't think I sent anything that like that. But 
take a moment to look at our, yeah, we have a few, well, three and two. That's not a lot. We'll wait on those. 10 torpedo bombers. Good. So I think we have some fighters being readied here. Let's ready the 10. Yeah. Okay. Good, good, good. And 45 minutes. Not much time left in this video. Looks like we're going to have a four parter. Hannibal hit by a torpedo. Oh, very good. Now, I don't know if one is going to do it. But if she was already hit, then that, I mean, could be a lot more helpful. Amazon taking a hit. Lion. Royal Oak dead. Two 16 inch guns on the lion. Very good. And Prince of Wales. So who, Arminius is firing at the wrong target. Slock Skiff is firing at the wrong target, but those are both blukers, so I'm actually okay with that. And they're gonna be, they should be just doing so much damage in a moment, since they'll be like point blank. Oh man, what a battle so far. Whew. And it's gone all our way. I mean, we've had a, obviously a couple ships sink. One ship sink? Two? One destroyer and... Uh, yeah, the other one was a light cruiser hit that did not sink it though. So And now we have our destroyers actually coming in and... These guys are both still moving. Okay, this one's probably going down. But this one reports... Wait, that one might be going down and this one might not. Oh, well, they both report that they're not sinking yet. Okay, let's push forward. 42, Infaticable, hit again. And this is a different one. This is a different one. So the Prince of Wales is still firing three heavy guns, two of them hit, that's amazing. Very good shot. Can't complain about that. Six inch hit on the bar floor. I mean, we want to sink here, but probably not gonna get done with six inch guns. Two, oh God. That's the slot skiff, that's fine. Indefatigable, Lion, 5-inch hit. Uh, three torpedo bombers going after a destroyer. I'm not really sure why. And another aircraft damage. Man, we're just getting... We're taking a lot of damage from the... Um... Wait, combined AA factor of 4 to air damage my aircraft? Damn it, anyhow. Damn it, anyhow. We just fired 212 and we didn't damage one aircraft. They fire 4 and they damage 1. Something's not right. I don't, I want to know what's behind the math here. It's so weird. It doesn't follow logic. I, I'm not that unlucky, right? If there's, if there's something behind the math that I'm not understanding. Uh. Okay, so we should, and I haven't seen our cap doing anything lately. Here we go, speaking of. Wait, that's their cap. Oh, there we go. Friendly, attack, okay, good. Nothing happened so far. It's one against eight, one against 10. So where's our real cap? I don't, I don't know. Uh, V-25 is launching torpedoes. No! Hold your fire. Okay, let's actually take you off AI control because you're supposed to escort the Arminius, but I'm, I might actually kind of give up on trying to escort the, the Arminius. They're just going to be a group that sticks together. And wh who are you trying to escort? The Sternbringers. Oh, you're a ways behind, probably picking up your recon. We're not launching any more recon, by the way. Obviously, we don't really need to until the until this group is dispatched. We only have carriers left to deal with. Let's see what's going on. Uh, the Donitz is... Taking a hit from the indefatigable. They are resilient, despite their very perilous situation. Torpedo tubes hit, never good. Uh, Prince of Wales is causing us a, quite a few problems. Heavy damage on the bar floor. We hope to be able to eliminate her. Another 16 inch hit on the lion. And this has, nope, I thought it disabled her other turret. Two more on the Royal Oak. Another 16 inch hit on the lion, very good. So, very good news there. And I guess we'll go one more minute 
Well, it's 49 minutes, so we gotta get it into 50, right? That's the only way to do these things now. Okay, so we damaged one torpedo bomber and we shot down another one. So this is the real cap, the nine actually doing their work. That's good. On top of that, we have they're hitting the Royal Oak, Mars, 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 Lion. Very good. Two more 16-inch shells landing on the Lion. So she's now all three of her turrets are disabled. And Donuts is still under fire. I am surprised, man. These have all taken a lot of torpedoes. Maybe I should. This one's probably sinking, but probably not the other one. I'm just guessing now somehow that she's okay. Oh, perfect time to call this video to a close. My voice is starting to go. So, so far, already a huge success. As long as we don't manage to get one of our carriers destroyed by the incoming attacks. And I think we'll manage to avoid that. Speaking of the carriers, let's see what else we have available. Two, three, okay, we have two 11s. Those are getting ready to fly. Wait, really? Oh, cap, they're on cap, fine. That's, that's well and good, all well and good. 13, and nothing here available. Okay, so we're doing okay as far as carrier operations go. Things are looking good. Um, I would really like, I think this one actually did take some heavy damage. I mean, we are launching, what is it, 1,400 pound bombs? <laughs> and they're only launching 1,000 pound bombs at us, which is, I mean, it's nice to know that we have a, like a damage, or uh, what am I trying to say? And uh, higher damage capability than they do. Okay, should we go one more minute? Sure, why not? Maybe I shouldn't have. <laughs> Adding a bull, I don't know, 17 inch hit. Mars, the lion, okay, another 16. She's... Graf von Eisen took a hit from the Prince of Wales. Yeah, this Prince of Wales is causing us problems. She's only able to fire one turret. At this... How is she firing? This must not be correct. It says it fired six guns at us, but it, according to this look, it's impossible. Um, Graf von Eisen took the hit. That's okay. Where are you? What are you doing? Who were you hit by? Hannibal. Ooh. How are you doing? Yeah, one more of those and you're in bad shape. So let's actually deploy smoke to cover, well, basically to cover you. And with that kind of damage and the fact, I think the fact, oh, you didn't take any torpedo hits yet. So maybe it would be good for us to go and, well, I mean, this is why the torpedoes are stupid. If they miss, they're gonna hit our own ship, but they shouldn't miss a sitting target. Yeah. All right, one more minute. Active turn. Three Prince of Wales hits, those are nice. Collision imminent, by the way. Um. Okay, 16 inch shells, 16 inch on a lion. Is she already going down? Not yet. Two more 16, okay, so three 16 inch shells. Hannibal took a, finally, yes, finally. Six and 16 inch shell. Uh, Prince of Wales, four inch, lion, 16, so that's a lot against the lion this turn. A near miss, and now their torpedo bombers are coming against our carrier. We finally, this is heavy aircraft, anti-aircraft is being affected. Maybe it just took them a little while to train their guns or something. I don't know. So out of the four, one aircraft was destroyed, one was damaged. And we'll see if they actually got any hits off in the next uh, turn or two. But I suspect that those are all going down. So nine friendlies against six torpedo bombers. We shoot down one, we shoot down, oh wait. So this is the four remaining. I see how it's working. It was six, we shot down two. Then one friendly attacked the one, and didn't do anything, obviously. And then the four that came in, one was destroyed. So they started off as six and they're going into the target as two undamaged and one damaged. So I think that that's gonna be not a big concern. We should be able to avoid, I mean, you obviously can't really 
uh, hammer and anvil with only one <laughs> with only uh, sorry three aircraft <laughs> just not not enough to not enough to do that tactic our destroyers are actually getting really close i didn't realize how close they're getting and i guess that's because this ship is probably already sinking now i don't know if they mod if they like um if they like abs i think they don't monitor which side the torpedo is being hit on and whether or not you can kind of counter list these ships uh counter flood to uh, um avoid listing or whatever so i'm thinking that the more torpedoes the better as far as getting these cleared off the map as soon as possible but that's something we'll address in the next video i'll call this video to close for real now so thanks for watching and until the next video where we hopefully i guess we might even need two more videos to bring this to a close it is the biggest battle i've probably ever fought so until the next one thanks for watching and take care